Sorry about that. Um, hi, YouTubers. Um, yesterday I posted, well, last night I posted a video showing how I did um, this. And you only got to see a portion of it, but this is what it looks like. I uh, remember I said that um, I didn't have that many rollers because if I did, I probably would have done smaller parts up here, but um, I don't. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take them out and um, let you see what it looks like when I take it out. I plan on putting it up in some type of um, updo, however, that will be a separate video in case it does not go right because sometimes that happens. Um, so let me get my container that I put them in. Okay, and so now I'm just going to take them out. Um, taking them out is really simple. Um, I will tell you, sometimes I, sorry, you can't see me. Um, sometimes I put the bonnet on. I actually have, I bought the Curl Formers um, blow dryer bonnet. You can exit it to your blow dryer. Um, and sit under. I did not do that, so it is possible that it could be damp. Um, my hair takes forever to dry, and it always has. I remember when I had a perm and I used to go get my hair done in the salon, I had to sit under the dryer minimum two hours, and my hair wasn't even, it was like shoulder length. It was very annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. The way you take these out, if you haven't seen, um, at the root, you press it, and it kind of opens it, makes it circular. And um, I pull the roller and just pull out, and um, that's what it looks like. It feels dry. I don't know. Sometimes it's damp. I plan on putting it up, so if it is damp, it really won't be that big of a deal. Um, I'm not straightening my hair today, so that video will be in the future. But what I do when I straighten my hair, um, I take all these rollers out. And I use um, a flat iron and flat iron the curl out. And I think that's why my hair stays straight for so long. And my flat iron is a Remington wet to straight. So you can actually use it on wet hair. Um, so if my hair is damp, it really doesn't cause any problems. Um, I, and see, it feels slightly damp. Um, I like to take my rollers out all the same color at the same time because of the way that I organize them in my little bag that I put them in. But you can see, I mean, the curls almost look like um, I have a perm. And see, if you don't straighten the roller right, you could end up with something like that. <laughs> so, and I think that happened when I tried to put them out of my face to sleep in. So, I mean, it doesn't, for my purposes, that's not an issue. But that's something you have to think about. Sometimes the ends don't come out perfect like this. I don't know. But, you know, I did all of this with no heat, which I think is healthy. And I try to take all the ones out that are the same color, but I know I have a short pink one back here. Let me see if I can get it. Now I'm just going to take out the rest of them and do something with my hair so I can go out in the world <laughs> today instead of just working on my computer. And I know it's during the week and um, may seem like I'm just chilling, but I actually am not. I I'm a lawyer. I just filed two motions in federal court from the comfort of my house. So I am working. <laughs> just taking a short break. My hair back here doesn't feel that dry, but like I said, for my purposes, it'll be okay. Even if I was straightening it, because my flat iron you can use on wet hair. I know that's probably, obviously, not a good idea, but just in case it is slightly damp. I just 
don't like sitting still under a dryer. As you can see, the takedown process is a lot easier and faster than putting them in. Um, and I mentioned in my video, I have worn them out like this for about a week. I just kind of put them up in like a high ponytail. Um, or I've walked out like this. I separated them. Um, but my hair is natural, so even if there's not raining, they do get, you know, bigger. But um, this is what it looks like. A few of them in the back feel damp, but um, you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to do something to it, put it up somehow, so you may or may not see that video, because if it looks crazy, I'm not going to upload it. So that's the takedown process, what it looks when I take it down. Um, okay, bye.